Gerbigly! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Game Jolt. While I was away on vacation, I didn't get to play any of the Game Jolt games, so I decided to go to the featured page and see which featured games I missed. This one caught my eye, it's called Ghost Coin, I have no idea what it's about, but according to the description, it's a tiny game that's a scratching-based game. It it says, can you scratch your way to victory, or can you scratch your way to the end, or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get started. I was really drawn in by the visuals of this game. Oh, weird. Okay, um, oh, so I guess I'm this guy. I'm this little guy. What do, what do I do? Go into this portal? I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm this little coin with the face. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, so, okay, so it's like a scratch-off lotto ticket. I see, okay, so you hold down the mouse button, and you can scratch off stuff here. It looks like I have to scratch off. Whoa! Hello, sir. The eyes in the face. I'm scratching your eyeballs. Does that feel good? Is that nice? Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm removing your nose. Oh. What was that noise? Oh, God, what the hell are you? Can I scratch you? I can. Hello. Oh. And did... See ya, I guess you're on your merry way now. Holy shit, this is weird. This is a very surreal game. So it's got this really weird old-timey aesthetic to it. Uh, it's like an old-time, like, old-timey cartoon or something along those lines. That's what it feels like. What? Hello, sir, you just came out of a mouth with teeth and, and, and stuff. Uh, I don't know what the point of the coin is. Oh, I just made you smile. Hello. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Oh. Oh, well, that's even more terrifying. Oh. Uh, this game is so weird. I mean, like I said, are you full of peas? Is that a smiling pea? This is a smiling pea. So, like I was trying to say, hello, box man, sir, face. Um, yeah, uh, so this is a very, it's got, the, I mean, this looks like an old school Walt Disney style cartoon or, um, you know, a Hanna-Barbera or something along those lines. Uh, those old school black and white cartoons where, like Steamboat Willie, that's what it really reminds me of, except obviously very, very odd, very strange and bizarre. So what's what's behind this? Is this the teeth? Am I, am, I'm erasing the teeth from earlier, aren't I? Oh, oh. Uh, do you have something to say? Oh, oh my. Oh, is that little... That's little me. That's little me. I'm the little coin guy. I'm, I'm the coin guy, and I'm coming out. Is, is that really the end? I'm... <laughs> when they said tiny, they really meant tiny. Holy crap, that's a tiny game. Can I... I can't scratch away. I can't scratch anything else, so I guess that's the end. Uh, it does have the names of the creators, so that's Eleanor Kopka and Constantine Kopka. Very weird duo. <laughs> Made a very weird game. Very unique. Uh, honestly... Kind of cool. I like the scratch-off sort of uh, element to it. I wish it was a little bit more uh, in-depth, like if there was some actual puzzles to the game. But I almost feel like this is more of an art piece than an actual game itself. Um, more to show off sort of art and visuals. And it did a good job of creating this really wacky, weird atmosphere with the very strange aesthetic that it has going on. Like I said, it has sort of that familiarity of an old-timey cartoon. Um, but... Overall, I I don't know. I, I liked it. I did enjoy it. Um, it's not my favorite thing ever, but it, it definitely, like I said, I, I hope that they make a longer style game with this uh, sort of gameplay and maybe have some actual puzzles that you have to solve instead of just scratching away at the screen. I do like the scratch mechanic, though. It is it is kind of fun to do. It does feel like you're doing like a scratch-off lotto ticket or uh, scratch-off like sweepstakes or something like that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye bye I really, really like everything about this game. Um, not to be insulting to anyone, but, you know, 4chan doesn't have the best rep ever, and... This game is really freaking beautiful for something that came out of what's considered by a lot of people as the cesspool of the internet, the depths of the grossness that can happen on the internet.